Welcome. This is the summary for engineering and product demo for the sprint ending on January 5th, 2021. I will be presenting for Minza. So from the product perspective, we worked on two major categories, invoice and payments and plot and landed registries. So for invoice and payments, we have now a, an admin payment screen where Enquestry admin can manage invoices and payments. We worked on researching how to process credit card using CyberSource as a payment gateway. Next sprint, we will be actually implementing the solution. We added a check payment type. We also made the currency dynamic. So uh, the currency can be set at the community level and everything is um, uh, trickles down to to the invoice and the payments and additional bug fixes such as preventing a client to create an invoice and performance improvements such as lazy loads on the plot and land registration we've we added a unique constraint on the on the plot uh, name and the plot number so we don't have any duplicates now we also uh, were able to display portion of the of the plots on a map because we were able to extract the AutoCAD files. From an engineering perspective, we actually did a lot of uh, bug fixes. The list is there. And from fixing errors, increasing test coverage, we've worked on uh, being able to send email from a template that we create. And yeah, we actually upgraded the Rails version which decreased our num vulnerability bugs that we have been accumulating. So what we're going to do next print is it's around plots and land registry. We're going to add ownerships to the plots. We're going to make sure that a plot can have more than one owners. We're going to keep importing GIS data, uh, but on a per plot basis. And we also go into work on a property value appraisal which is also needed for the invoice and payment process as part of the Enquestry leasing product. So on the invoice and payment, we will be doing credit card processing. We will add a, another payment type for mobile money, and we need to clean up the payment interface. So we will have new designs for that. And what we're gonna be starting setting up payment plans and on the latest valuation appraisal from the plot and land registries. Uh, again, from the engineering perspective, we will be reducing vulnerability and focus solely on this. For this, this sprint, well, it was a little special sprint because of the holiday season. So we only had uh, three engineers uh, working all the time. We created 18 merge requests. We worked on 31 issues, we completed 30 issues, and we only had one open, so it's awesome. Uh, in terms of code coverage, um, we are up, but barely, and I believe we actually missed our target. Uh, we were supposed to be at about 66.5, uh, and um, so we, we missed it by, by a little bit. So from a trending perspective, this is a code coverage and here it's very close. So it's very hard to see, but you can, we can see that uh, the, the goals of 66.36% versus 65.93%. The number of merge requests, the goal was to have about around 13 merge requests, but we did 18. So we actually outperformed this print. And uh, from a security standpoint, um, in terms of vulnerabilities, our goal was to have only 41 vulnerability at this time. And currently we have 26 vulnerabilities. So we've actually outperformed greatly. And this coming sprint, we hope to have only five vulnerability left uh, for this. Thank you very much.